He covered his people. Hallelujah. Amen, Amen church. Amen. And as I was saying, in the month of December, hallelujah to God, in the month of December, the Lord said we should go on one month of fasting. Because the one month of fasting, hallelujah to God, is preparing us for 2020 because it's not going to be easy. Good thing we follow the Lord. We went in one month of fasting every day. Meeting at church. We pray, we pray. Until in January, the two last week in January, the burden hit my heart. I saw so many bodies dead. Weeping and bawling. Brethren have to keep holding me up in church because me they are yard a ball, me they are church from my belly. I cried out. The Lord was showing me what I'm about to hit. Not just Jamaica. Praise the name of the Lord. But the entire world. Who's going to come on? He show me somebody. Body, body, body. Dead bodies. Oh, Obedience is better than sacrifice. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when God speaks to us. We want to, we want to see the things, uh, the way we want to see it. When God is said, I can show you the way you want to see it. I'm going to show you the way I want you to see it. So we want to turn God to conform to our hearing and our sight. When him said, come and transform, transform your hearing and your sight. Hallelujah. Amen, Amen church. Amen. As a leader, praise the name of the Lord, I come to talk real things. I don't know to compromise it. And if you're going to lead from the front, you have to lead with example. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I can't walk into the world and, and come out of some darkness of sin and come to church and play in church and not listen to God. Hallelujah. We listen to everybody else and I believe we got to tell we say. Hello. Hallelujah. Amen, church. Amen. If you're not even say, hey, man, I'm going to preach it. You know why? We need to believe speak to you and it will manifest but you have to believe Amen. you must believe that he is a rewarder unto them that diligently seek him yes. hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. Yeah. we need to hear the truth coming from the pulpit yes. we need to let persons know that it may not have to pray for you to get an answer you can pray as well and get an answer that was then when we go to the high priest and, the, and, the, and bring our sacrifice and they talk to God for us not like that again we have a great high priest that are um, moved by the feeling of our infirmities which is Jesus Christ so we go direct to him the only time you don't get, that, get to go direct to him is when you get weak and you need somebody to help strengthen you that's different amen church but it's going to rain again because of the hardness of time with backsliding our heart. Some people say they are not backsliders. But you don't know backsliding stage is when you stop to the will. You know when come to church and say some people stung in the church and backslide a long time. Amen. Amen. We stop to the will. We stop pray. We stop read. We stop being kind because we, we get so many hurt and we don't want nobody to help me again so I'm not nobody no more again. When the word of the Lord said, don't get weary in well doing. Bless your faith. Hallelujah. When the blessing come, your faith. You're not going to receive it. Jesus said, forgive them 70 times 7. Praise the name of the Lord. Come on, come on. Forgive that the rain can fall again. Let go some people out of your heart that rain going to fall again. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, we have to reap the blessing. We can suffer so hard and so long and still go to hell go suffer. Amen. Lord of Jesus. Look how hard. This is very hard. Very hard. I'm going to say one more thing. We went into Ho Chi Town yesterday. And while I was there, the Lord allowed me to feel something in my spirit. And what I felt was, 
It was an adulterous spirit intertwined with fornication. He said a lot of adultery is here in Jamaica. Sleeping with young ladies. Sleeping with old men. Hallelujah. And they're married people. He said they first divorce me, God. Some not even accept me. Living in the same house, but still an adulterer. Because what? the moment you start to live a uh, sardine, uh, sardine thin life, head and tail, you're separated spiritually. Hallelujah. And the first thing that the Leviathan does when you start to have a problem in your marriage, the first thing he said, divorce. And when you divorce, then that contract that you signed with the devil gonna follow you into every relationship. So when the problem rises, you say divorce. Hallelujah. 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 I felt it in my body. It was a high, high sexual immorality. Prayers in the name of the Lord and as leaders, we have to be careful and we have to preach it. If you notice the it come up with some long hair down here like a mermaid I have white on it red on it blue on it the married kingdom loose yes. Yes. to repossess the mind and control the people with high sexual seducing spirit yes. Jesus Christ. So that meaning also in the church. Divorce and still come back into the church. Praise the name of the Lord. And lusting and even want to marry. So the two spirit intertwine. Intertwine. Wrapping up the men and wrapping up the ladies to defile their sanctum, their, their, their body, the temple of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. I'm saying to the ladies that are married, fight for your relationship. Men, fight for your relationship. Stand up as a man and speak the word and set your house in order. But stand up for Jesus Christ. Because if you submit to God, the devil will have to flee. Hallelujah. Remember I said that, I'm not going away from the scripture, it's going to rain. But if we take on the practices and the imagery of the word, it's going to allow your rain to not come. Your rain not going to fall. Because when God see dirty, dirty things in vessels, it's not going to pour in a new wine. You can't serve God and my man. You can't serve two, two God. If God be God, serve him. Amen. Amen, Amen. Amen church? Amen. Vow is very important. And when you make a vow, you have to remember to keep the vow. Whether you're single or whether you're married, we have to keep our vow because what? God going to keep his part of his vow. Amen, Amen church? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So in order for the rain to fall, you have to come in alignment. It comes with a consequence. It comes with a condition. So when you want blessing from God, you have to ensure that there is God blessing you. you know. Hello? Hallelujah. We have to ensure that it is God. Because the word of the Lord tell me that there was a man by the name of Naaman. A Naaman was a leper. In full of sickness. Hallelujah. First Kings chapter 5. And let me tell you something, man. There was a little, little lady that knew about the Israelite people. And he said, there's a prophet down there that can heal you from your sickness. Hallelujah. And, and he had sent the letter to the king of Israel. And when he ripped him close and said, why are you sending me such a letter? I can't heal nobody. Then Elijah hear about it. And said, what disturbs you? Hallelujah to God. He said, let him come. Glory to God. But sometimes we want the man of God to talk to you direct to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
He sent the word. Go deep in a river Jordan seven times. The man crumble and the murmur and he complain. We have so many clean river. Why you choose to send me in a dirty Jordan? So we dirty and want go in a cleanness. When God want to use dirty Jordan as a strategy to clean your house. Praise the name of the Lord God. Some of you God want to use the same weapon that the devil has used for you to conquer him. Oh, wash off. The man dip seven times and get clean. But the point I want to bring out is this. This man come with all the blessing to take to the man of God. He said, no. No, that's all right. I'm just doing the will of God. So some people just take, 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 take money. When God no want that. God just want you to serve him and voluntarily deliver his people. So much at 20,000, 50,000, 100 and hot thousand dollars. When God has said to you, praise the name of the Lord. You is a soul and need help. If you begin to do that, you're going to stop praying. But here come Gezai. Write down the man. And said, Elijah said you must give it to me. Hallelujah. Be careful when we use names. Amen. Be careful we want to take blessing and fear who want. Hallelujah. Gezai take the blessing and pick up the curse. 